Hi, I'm Colton with Forces Center Calgary and here today with a really exciting piece of pre-owned inventory. This one is a 2018 911 Turbo. Uh, being in 2018, that means it's the 991.2 generation of 911. So that point .2 uh, meant a few kind of little enhancements, not a full redesign or anything, but uh, they changed up the front uh, aesthetics a little bit. The front bumper's different, uh, rear bumper's different, taillights are 3D, the design back there is probably more significantly different than the front. Uh, as compared to what uh, what the previous generation would have been. Um, and then also added a little bit more horsepower and tweaked the interior too. So uh, in the 901.2, which would be 17, 18, 19 model years, um, you had a different PCM or infotainment system that gave you uh, Apple CarPlay and you can uh, pinch to zoom on the map. It's a little bit more intuitive uh, than the ones previous. And um, I mentioned a, a bit of a bump in horsepower. This one gets 540 horsepower, uh, which yeah, in, in this application is a whole lot. Uh, good for roughly three seconds, zero to 60. So super, super quick car. Uh, and they'll all have that sport chrono package. So you have the launch control and can really maximize those acceleration runs. Um, it's hard to do the performance and the acceleration of these cars justice talking about it. You really have to feel it to experience it. Uh, it's, it's pretty exceptional. But uh, I want to talk a little bit more just about how this one in particular is kind of specked out and, and tell you its story a bit. So uh, let's dive into that, starting with the outside. So this is Carrera White Metallic, probably one, uh, either number one or two most popular color that, uh, that we sell. Uh, so always nice for resale down the road and just always, always looks good, always will. It's not a color that's gonna age uh, swiftly or anything like that. Uh, these wheels are the Turbo S wheel. So an optional upgrade on, on this car. And what's significant about them uh, is the center lock. So they look awesome. Uh, obviously, a lot of people will buy them just for the look, but you also have that uh, unique center lock application so uh, work quite differently than the than the conventional wheel which would have been a five bolt pattern this is a much more kind of motorsport inspired really really cool thing um, does make it tougher to switch the wheels yourself if you like to do that in your garage it's still doable but you need some special tools it's a little bit more of a trick uh, but really really cool i think the wheels uh, kind of make the whole car at least from the outside i think they, they make it look way way better than the uh, original standard wheel would have the headlights are the top level for this year, the LED PDLS or Porsche Dynamic Lighting System Plus. So they'll turn with a steering wheel, they look further down the road as you speed up, and uh, they'll have the auto high beam function as well. Around back, we have the, oh, and I don't know if I mentioned they're tinted too, they're, they're the black version, a little bit darker, a little bit sleeker looking. Same goes for the back is what I was getting to there, where they have the tinted tail lights equipped on this one as well. And then a couple of other little uh, stylistic things. This one has the Sport Design side mirror, a little bit of a sportier look there, a little bit more paint. And then the side intake here as well was option to be the gloss black rather than the kind of unpainted black plastic. Makes it feel a little bit more, a little bit more complete, which you have as well on the bottom here, uh, gloss black on the side sill and that 911 turbo designation, all little details that were selected uh, to make this car kind of stand out from, from the rest. As well, uh, I guess you could argue inside or outside feature, but the roof, this one has the uh, glass opening roof. You can have either uh, just a solid metal roof, you can have the metal opening roof, or what most people go for, and what we definitely find most people looking for on the pre-owned side uh, is the glass roof that lets a lot of light in and can open up as well to let some air into the cabin too. Uh, I think that's about everything on the outside of the car. So let's move on to the inside. This is to me where this one gets really special. It's the uh, Espresso natural leather interior. So uh, as you might guess, Espresso kind of a dark brown color. I love a brown interior. And because it's the natural leather, it's a less treated leather. It's a more kind of just, um, well, like the name suggests, it's more natural, uh, which I find helps as they get older. It kind of, it ages nicely, develops a nice patina, has kind of a different smell to it. It's, it's a lovely, uh, lovely place to be for sure. Uh, and then this one in particular has a lot of extra leather, uh, kind of little options selected, things like the leather steering column. So behind the steering wheel itself, right, you've got your steering column there that's usually just black plastic. Here, this is leather wrapped as well in that espresso natural leather. Uh, so are the sun visors. Those were optioned to be leather as well. And then this car has the 18-way seat, so the most kind of heavily bolstered seat and the one that wraps around you the most. But when you go with that seat, the back of it is, uh, well, it's basically plastic. It's almost like a metallic look, but it is plastic. With this one, that was optioned uh, to be all leather wrapped as well, the, the seat backs. Uh, so yeah, lots of little spots where most people don't necessarily pay attention to. The um, 
individual who spec this one out did. Uh, and I love to see it. I love all those little leather details. They definitely complete the package for me. Uh, the gear lever too is the aluminum gear lever, which is a whole different shape than the standard one. I really like the way it fits in your hand. It's a little bit more substantial than the standard uh, gear lever and uh, just feels a little bit more premium too. Um, what other little ones? I don't want to miss other stuff that was done on the interior here. Oh, of course, I should talk about the trim. Uh, the carbon trim, which is the most popular on the 911, so that doesn't necessarily stand out. But what I like is uh, they did the carbon trim and then match that to the door sills, which surprisingly few people bother to do. So you've got carbon kind of throughout the middle of the dash, as well as on the door sill, and it's illuminated. So when you open the door, it says 911 Turbo there and kind of lights up to, to welcome you into the cabin, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, and then some of the more typical stuff, you've got uh, heated and ventilated seats in this one. You have the uh, GT Sport steering wheel, which is heated as well. Uh, what other stuff here? Oh, of course, the, the smoking package. I always like to point that out because people will see that on a build sheet and then say, oh, was the previous owner a smoker? What's the story there? There is no story. Virtually all of our sports cars in this kind of generation um, were ordered with the smoking package. It's largely an aesthetic difference. There's a little kind of open space in the bottom of the, of the um, uh, center console that isn't honestly good for a whole lot. You can maybe put something in there, but it's left open and exposed. If you got the smoking package, it was a free option and it puts a, basically a, a lid on that little space, makes it look a whole lot cleaner. There was no cost difference. So the vast majority of people option that just to make it look a little bit better. You do get what's technically an ashtray in there, but most people use for coins or various little things just to keep it looking a little bit tidier in the cabin. Um, I think that was about all of the primary things. So there's a couple of really cool accents in there though that we don't see so often. So the full brown leather interior, but then for kind of a splash of color, they did the um, the gauges in uh, in red, as well as the sport chrono dial and the seat belts. So don't see it too often with the red interior. To be honest, when I first thought, I thought, Ugh, I don't know how well that's gonna, that's gonna suit the interior. But uh, the more I sit in the car, the more I like it. It definitely is unique and it doesn't kind of clash in the way that I feared it would. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, of course, judge that for yourself. That's the beauty of the 911s. They can be so individual. You know, you, you I, I think that the statistic I heard a couple of years ago is that Porsche only builds two matching sports cars uh, per year globally. Every other one is uh, is unique, at least in, in some degree or another. And I can virtually guarantee you this one is very much unique. I don't expect there's a matching car out there. So really, really cool. Uh, and then of course, as well, it is a Porsche approved certified pre-owned vehicle. So that means it'll come with two years of comprehensive Porsche warranty with unlimited kilometers. Uh, and that'll start from the day that you pick it up. So lots of good coverage there. And it is transferable as well. So if you decide to sell it within those two years, that warranty transfers onto the next owner and some added value too, in terms of the, the resale and some peace of mind. And I think that pretty well sums up what I wanted to say about this guy. So if you enjoyed the video, if you're interested in the car, please do give us a call or, or pay us a visit and check it out for yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you.